Hi there, I'm Alex and today let's have a look on how firewall rules can be added in MSIX. With Windows Installer technology, you didn't have a direct way to implement firewall rules inside the package. Of course, this was not really an issue because with MSIs you had full control of what to do with an installation package, allowing you to add custom actions. You could write a custom action in PowerShell, VBScript or any other type, add it to your package and it would have worked. With Advanced Installer it's even simpler because we offer a dedicated page for firewall rules where you can add all your firewall rules taking advantage of our intuitive graphical user interface. The rest is taken care of by Advanced Installer. But MSIX does offer a native solution to add firewall rules to your packages. Within the MSIX packages there are two types of extensions. Application extensions and package extensions. In a previous video, we had a look on how to deal with startup applications in your MSIX package. Now, if you look closely in that video, the Windows Startup Task extension was added to a specific application from the package. Firewall rules, on the other hand, are package extensions, meaning that they don't have to be placed as an extension to an application. So, to add a firewall rule, you just have to add the following code in the manifest after the capabilities element. The above code creates an inbound rule for the sample executable present in the package. The rule allows all incoming network traffic using the TCP protocol over port 4810. With Advanced Installer it's even easier because the above step can be done from the graphical user interface. Let me show you how. So I already went ahead and created a small MSIX package. It only contains a sample executable and it's digitally signed. So let's add firewall rules with advanced installer. To add firewall rules we need to go into the declarations page and remember we said that firewall rules are package declarations not application declarations. So right click package declaration, add a package declaration and let's add a firewall rule. Uh, we are going to specify for which executable we are going to add the firewall rule. So let's click new. Uh, we are going to add it for all inbound network traffic. The IP protocol will be TCP. Uh, profile will be for all. And let's say we are going to do this for, I don't know, uh, from port uh, 4800 until 4810. Click OK. Save and build the package. So now that the package is built, if we open up the app manifest file and scroll down a bit, you will see our firewall rules that we previously mentioned. And that's how easy it is to add firewall rules with advanced installer. Now I hope you have a better understanding on how firewall rules work with MSIX and how easy it is to add them to your packages. But for any questions or video suggestions, just leave a comment down below or reach us on our forum. I wish you all a great day. Bye-bye.